Don't look up. The Last Supper resurrected. Prayer reloaded. Last week on Passover and Easter Sunday, we looked at prayer scenes from the movie Don't Look Up, which is about two astronomers who realize a planet-destroying comet is hurtling towards Earth. The three clips from Don't Look Up guided us to find our way into prayer in a whole way, as well as into existential risk. Prayer is intimate. And we're reclaiming prayer and we're integrating it into the fabric of our reality. Prayer is intimate communion between the divine and the human. The human being participates in divinity. Those forces of Eros always seeking deeper coherences and wider intimacies from quarks to culture and beyond. Existential risk is real. Our world is lost in rivalrous conflict, win-lose metrics, commodification, and the cheap thrills and frills of pseudo-eros to actually take existential risk seriously. This is when reality itself gets crucified. So what do we do when we get crucified? What do we pray for? There will be no utopia and there will probably not be a humanity at this moment where we're all colliding into each other because there's no more local. We're living in this unbearable int intimacy of one planet. Just like for a country to survive, it needed the organizing fabric of a religion, but we're no longer divided accurately along national, geographic, or country lines. We're not divided across localized, sociocentric, or ethnocentric lines. We are one globe. We need the synagogue of compassion, the church of compassion, the mosque of compassion, the secular humanist center of one love. Because that one love, that one heart, and that one eros beats in me and beats in thee and beats in we. Christianity remains and flourishes and deepens. And Christianity calls itself out in its tragic dimensions and evolves to the next level in the evolution of love, which is Christ consciousness. Islam resolves its interior horrific, painful, blood-curling conflicts that have shed so much blood. Islam becomes truly, for the sake of Allah, an evolved expression of love in its most stunning and beautiful sense. As, for example, the Sufis embodied Islam. All religions evolve. Each remains unique and gorgeous instrumentations of music, intimate configurations of interior gorgeous value, glory, love, truth, and beauty in the unique self-symphony of spirit. As each religion dies on its cross, the resurrection has to be not just that individual religion. The resurrection has to be the score of the unique self-symphony. Homo Amor does stand at the brink of the abyss. That is why when we come together here in one mountain, many paths, whether it's Ramadan or a Buddhist holiday or last week, Easter and Passover, we focus for a moment on that holy day. We're going to integrate all of this as we pray, and we're going to liberate the sparks of the sacred from the broken vessels of the great traditions. Mm -hmm.